All right, looking at number four here, the pH of a 0.2 molar solution of a weak base pyridine is 8.59. Draw up a reaction table for the reaction of 0.2 pyridine with water and calculate the Kb. All right, so we're going to do a basic weak base reacting with water to give us uh, OH and some HB. Now, standard reaction table, so an ice table. We have 0.2 molar. We don't care about that. The OH starts out as neutral, neutral water. And products both go up. Reactant goes down. So we have 2 point, or 0.2 minus X, 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh plus X, and just X. And we have a basic Q for a weak base. Drop my plus there. All over just the base. All right, and our KB is what we're going to solve for. All right, our OH concentration, we're going to get from this 8.59, but we're not going to get it from the 8.59. We've got to get to the difference of 8.59 and 14. And we want it negative, so I'm going to do 8.59 minus 14. Because that difference is the pOH, and that's what we want here. And doing it this way, my calculator will make it negative. Now, technically, that's this x, so I'm going to do that twice. And then here is going to just be 0 0.200. Now, I am making assumptions here. I'm assuming that the x is very, very small. But um, what we could do, and we'll do it here in a bit, is solve for the x using that a little bit different. But let's see what this gets for a kb. All right, so clear that out. 10 raised to the power of 4, or 8.59 minus 14. And we're essentially going to square that. And then divide by 0.2. And we get a KB of 7 point, let's see, we can have just two significant figures from that 8.59. So 7.6 times 10 to the negative 11th. All right, now just to see what would happen, we're going to solve for this x slightly different. That is actually equal to um, the OH concentration. And the OH concentration is 10 raised to the power of 8.59 minus 14. So let's use that to solve for just the X. I'm actually going to do this a little bit slower. So. Um, the POH is 14 minus 8.59, so the POH is 5.41, and we're going to take 10 to the negative of that 5.41. This will give us the OH concentration. Now I'm going to subtract the amount of OH that was in the neutral water, so 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. And I get very small change, but my x is 3.79 times 10 to negative 6. What did I say? 3.7979. Alright, now I'm going to plug this in to the actual equation. So I'll have 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th plus x and x all over 0 0.200 minus x. And I'm going to use this for my x every single time it pops up. So, 1 times 10 to the negative 7th plus 3.79 times 10 times 10 to the negative 6th times 3.79 times 10 
to the negative sixth divided by, in parentheses, 0.2 minus 3.79 times 10 to the negative sixth. And if you notice, the Ka is roughly the same thing, 7.4 times 10 to the negative eleventh. So we'll make ever so slight changes if you do it the more long, drawn out way, but we're well within the error uh, and, and it's safe to make these assumptions.